my name is Jen and I am so excited for the for rent pack that's coming out. I decided to take some of the bigger older houses in Willowbrook and turn them into rental units. So this is a beautiful home that I turned into three separate rental units. This is the Park Shore lot, Park Shore lot and uh it's very nice sort of the goths so like location location so let's take a tour of this house and uh i wanted this to be easy for anybody who got this pack i wanted to make some some just ready to go ready to rock and roll situations so i did use more than just base game i'm so sorry i just i just did i'm sorry i apologize but i tried not to go super crazy also I did not fully decorate these apartments. I wanted to give you realism. So what I did was I basically just um, decorated it with kitchens and bathrooms as you would have if you were moving in. So this is the first apartment that we have. Pardon my, pardon my camera angles. It has been a hot minute since I've played The Sims. So just bear with me. But this is a beautiful, uh, nice one bedroom you got this lovely galley kitchen uh fantastic views you get your own front porch let's go over here on this side so in my process i decided to not mess with the actual structure of the homes and so i didn't want to like redo major things i just kind of kept within the structure this is your one bedroom which is nice spacious uh, you got a little a nook area for a desk or a dresser. Perfectly good for a single sim. And then here is your bathroom, which I actually think this is a very nice bathroom. Pretty updated, stylish, nice situation. So let's pull out of this apartment. So that is unit one, which is a one bedroom. So there are two one bedrooms and there is one three bedroom. This is the... Uh, entrance to the three bedroom lot so the three bedroom lot is great for families it is on the second floor so this is your private entrance you have this whole little foyer to set up whatever you need you know little shoes hats what have you let's go upstairs and see what is abound so i absolutely love these floors you do have uh access to this beautiful sun deck easily to spy on the goths i mean i'm just saying if you wanted to have a nosy neighbor this would be the place but this is a great place for kids to have toys activities easels whatevers this is a lovely little dining nook right here and a very updated victorian kind of style kitchen that stove is the centerpiece lots of natural light good flow this is your extremely spacious living room, wraparound windows, perfect for the whole family to gather. We do have a tiny little bathroom right here, just, just basics, good for bathing toddlers and whatnot. So over here we have the access to the bedrooms. So there is a door over there that is askew, but I decided to leave it because this is an old house and old houses have character. And just consider that character so this is the first bedroom gorgeous stunning hardwood floors i love the shape of this room this would be a fantastic teenager's bedroom or maybe an office you do have access to your very own private little balcony out there so this would be great for a teen or an office over here we have the next bedroom this is I would say consider the master bedroom. I love this place because it's extremely serene. It's very serene. I really like that. And then again, you have a little alcove over here. So that would be like the main bedroom, you would say. There's good flow, I would say. This is the shared bathroom over here. It's a little dated. It's not, not the best, but you know, clean. And this room right here, I really thought this would make an excellent nursery. I just, I love the, the carpeting in here. It gets such good light. It's so peaceful. I just think this would be a great little nursery room. So I'm digging it. 
let's go downstairs to our other one bedroom. We have this fantastic community grill area for everybody to get together. And then this is the last one bedroom home right here. So if you have a young family and you want to be able to have two units to rent out to make extra money, this would be an ideal situation. So this unit has its very own porch all to itself, which is pretty nice. And welcome to the last unit. So when you walk in here, you go straight into the bedroom. This is the uh, one bedroom. It is a decent sized bedroom. You could definitely fit a double bed in there, nice light. Let's go down the hallway. They have this beautiful original flooring in here. And this is just a nice little bathroom. Clawfoot tub. Go around the bend and you have this big open space. This is a gorgeous place to just entertain. You can have your living room, dining room area in here. It's very light and bright. You also have this cute little cozy kitchen right in here. Uh, we do need to install a light. Uh, we'll get the electricity guy on that uh, ASAP. But yeah, this is just a nice little kitchen nook. You could have a table here if you want to. You can have all your living room stuff there. And this is the last unit. So you've got one three bedroom unit upstairs and two one bedroom units downstairs. This is a great rental place. Again, it's the Park Shaw lot. It is up on the gallery. My gallery name is Misplaced Moo. I will have that written and linked below. And uh, let me know what you guys think. It's been a while since I played The Sims. Uh, I was playing a Let's Play family. I was very attached to them. They got, they got lost, we'll just say, and I took me a while to get over it. It's been a while since I played The Sims, but I really wanted to create some fun uh, builds for you guys, and these are moving ready. You just have to bring your furniture. It's ready to go.